Hi, this is Thomas from TB Pro Audio. In this video, I explain what is DCQ about and how to use it. So, what is DCQ? DCQ is a dynamic spectral equalizer. Like a normal dynamic equalizer, DCQ can work in certain frequency ranges and dim outstanding signals. Since DCQ works in the frequency domain using FFT analysis, it can automatically detect and tamp several problematic frequencies at the same time. This is done through multiple dynamic equalizers triggered by the signal strengths after FFT. In this video, I show how DCQ is used and the effect of the most important controls. I will talk about threshold, slope and selectivity. And I will show how the delta monitoring and the pre-filter are used. So, let's start with a default setting working on a title from our music collection. Let's begin with the threshold parameter. Threshold. Threshold sets the signal level when all dynamic equalizers are triggered. Use lower values for more gain reduction, higher values for less. The current gain reduction is displayed in the spectrum view. You can hear that threshold works like a normal threshold of a compressor. Lower threshold gives more compression. Ok, now let's explore the slope parameter. Slope. Slope turns the spectrum of the input signal by the given value in dB per octave, around 1 kHz. Positive values bring the highs more in focus, negative values the lows. If you're doing pink noise mixing and mastering, just set slope to plus 3 dB. You can see that the slope parameter makes it much easier to work across the full frequency range. Now let's see what selectivity can do for us. Selectivity. Selectivity determines how much the trigger of a singular dynamic equalizer affects its neighbors. Higher values limit the effect to more singular frequencies, but this could also create more distortion. Selectivity controls the overall smoothness of the gain reduction curve. When set to sharp, DCQ works on singular frequencies. 
Lower values let DCQ work on also neighbor frequencies, even if they are not above the threshold. Now let's move to delta monitoring. Delta monitoring. Delta monitoring enables the listening of the different signal of input minus output. This makes the impact of the pre-filter and dynamic equalizers much more audible. Delta monitoring is a huge time saver when checking the correct function of your setup. It also could tell if your resulting signal is shifted in phase or even distorted. Okay, finally, let's see how the pre-filters work. Pre-filter. Pre-filters control the signal fed into the dynamic equalizers. You can take parts of the spectrum out, so not processed by the dynamic equalizers, or boost, so more processed by the dynamic equalizers. Pre-filter let DCQ focus on specific frequency regions and let the rest more or less untouched. This is great for de and tamming digital harshness. Ok, this was it for this video. I hope you liked the video and DCQ. It is a wonderful tool to DS vocals, tam resonances in, for example, drums, guitars, or vocal recordings, to remove digital harshness, to demask frequency regions, and finally, to balance your mix. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.